In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and things are created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Father, you taught the hearts of your faithful people by sending them the light of your Holy Spirit. In that Spirit, give us right judgment and the joy of his comfort and guidance. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I'd like to talk about the gymnasium of prayer, all the options that the Catholic Church offers as means of our developing our friendship and relationship with Jesus Christ. And I'd like to start with that. Prayer for me is about a friendship. It's about a relationship. It's about a bond. It's about getting closer to the one who made us, who loves us, our friend, our Lord, our Savior, and our King, Jesus Christ. That has to be the goal of prayer. And it's not so much what we're thinking about when we pray, but it's the love with which we communicate to Christ that matters. The love in our heart, that's what Christ most wants from us, our love. Our heartfelt, emotional love that we give to Him in prayer. That's when the bond grows deep. That's when prayer is very beautiful and intimate. So I'd just like to offer some practical tips that might help you grow closer to Christ in prayer, starting with the sacramental life. Obviously, daily Mass, at least Mass on Sunday, in which you receive Christ in your heart through the sacred host that's consecrated. He comes into your soul. He strengthens your soul. He gives you that peace, that moral strength, that calm, that conviction, that confidence. It's so powerful. If you can receive Him every day, what a gift. Going to the Sacrament of Reconciliation to tell your friend you're sorry for letting him down. Ultimately, for letting yourself down. He, he was asking maybe difficult things of you, but they were good for you. They were going to lead you towards your eternal, your eternal goal. And obviously would be a great inspiration for many other people too. So confession is a chance to tell Christ, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not doing your will. I chose mine. We also have the opportunity to visit Christ in the Eucharist. To actually go to a chapel. To stop in. To be with our Lord. To listen to our Lord. To love our Lord with your heart. To let Him love you. We all need to be loved. We all need to be strengthened by God. Let Him do that. Give Him some space to do it. We also have sacred scripture. I'd encourage all of you to start your day with at least 10 minutes of, a, of gospel reading. Reading Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John in a prayerful way. In a meditative way. In a contemplative way. See which words strike you, which words jump out at you, which words speak to you. Mull over those words, ponder those words, see what the Holy Spirit is asking of you today, what message he has for you today. That's prayer. It's especially listening to the Word of God. We can also talk to Jesus anywhere, anytime. You know, in your car, when you're going for a walk, when you're moving from one place to another, when you're doing housework or washing pots and pans or folding clothes. Those are all golden opportunities to communicate with Christ, to tell Christ how much you love Him, to ask Him for help, to ask Him for strength. I encourage all the, the wives out there, you know, just before your husband comes home, say a little prayer. Lord, help me to help love my husband when he walks in the door. For the husbands, to say a prayer, help me to love my wife and my kids when I walk in the door. It's very practical, but Jesus wants to help us and He does respond to those petitions of prayer. Having a devotion to our Blessed Mother is huge. Praying the daily rosary for intentions. Not saying the rosary, praying the rosary. Asking our Blessed Mother to intercede for us, to gain graces for us that we so badly need. Visiting our Blessed Mother, visiting Mary, having sacred images in your house, a grotto in your backyard. Just stopping in and, and being with our Mother, opening your heart to our Mother in Heaven who cares for us, who loves us. You can always do the way of the cross. You can, you can also do divine mercy the chaplet, mid-afternoon. There's so many little prayers the church offers. But the key here is to really want to grow in your knowledge and love for Jesus Christ. He exists. He's real. He has eyes. He has a heart. He loves you. He wants to, to know you and help you. He wants to be known by you. So I just encourage all of you to make that space, to make that time, and especially to give your love to the one who loves you more than anyone else in the world. May God bless you.